I don't know, folks. You know, I think about Los Angeles and what's going on here. I mean, it is just amazing. You know, you, you drive down. I have a, a friend there. He said every time you get off an exit, there's homeless people. Not are they, they're not there uh, begging. They have a tent pitch. They're living there you know, in the medial strips, in the exit ramps, uh, over the streets, all over the place. Uh, taxes out of control, people out of control, uh, police department, no authority. Mayor is more interested in being a sanctuary citizen. They have fires that continue to rage because of lack of infrastructure. They have no money to spend. They can't fix they can't fix, they can't help, they can't do anything about the infrastructure. The utility company can't raise prices because that's uh, regulated by the state. The state has got a, a hand on that. Um, this is literally a state that is gonna turn into a nothing but a desert. I don't understand all these, cons all these liberals wanna do is spend money. They don't spend it correctly. They don't even know where to spend it. They just wanna spend it. Everything's about money. They keep asking for money, asking for money. They've been asking for money for 30 years, 40, uh, 60 years in California. They've been asking for money, asking for money. Nothing ever gets fixed. Nothing ever gets done. It gets worse and worse. Uh, people are living there for the sunshine. So I'm gonna give away three quarters of my income. I don't care how I live. I just want to live in the sun. Move to El Paso, Texas. Go somewhere else. I mean, where, if that's what all you care about. But it is just amazing to me. It's amazing to me that this continues. When will these liberals wake up and say, you know what? This whole ideology is not really working well for us. Do you think? It's not really working. Well, our taxes are going up. They continue to need more money. The only way they're going to get it is to continue to raise taxes. There's no way that they're on the, I mean, they're not a friend of this administration, so that's not going to help them get any money. Their unemployment system is totally bankrupt. As a matter of fact, in 2008, it was bankrupt. The federal government was given their unemployment. I don't know if you knew that, but coming out of the unemployment trust fund, $10, million, uh, $10 billion a month going into California. That was you and I paying for the unemployment during the recession of California. These are our tax paying dollars. And we say, well, you know, we can't pay down our debt. Of course we can't pay down our debt. We're never going to be able to pay down our debt because we have the 10th or 11th largest economy in the world. That would be California that can't afford to put their fires out. They can't afford to fix their infrastructure. They can't afford to allow a utility company to raise prices to fix their infrastructure that they say the California people are saying the government is causing all the fires. They're blaming everything on a utility company. All of this comes back like just about 95% of all the problems that we have in this country and all the problems that we've had in this country comes back to failed government policy in some way, shape, or form. In this case, state government, local governments continue to fail. Why? Because of the ideology. And you want to know what's going to happen next November? I'm just saying. You know what's going to happen next November? California, across the entire state, is going to re-elect or elect more and more of these radical, liberal, socialist, communist thinkers believing that if they continue to do the same thing, they're going to have a different result. Hey, I want to thank you for watching the clip. We sure do appreciate it. Would you go right now, click on that subscribe button if you haven't already. That helps us. We would appreciate it. Thanks again.